the graph consists of large cubic large cubic consists of five small cubics from side and from up to below five also the one small cubics one by one millimeter normal wave is P Q R S T this is P wave this is Q R We have to know two things. How it generates and from where it generates. Okay, B wave. Let's come back to the picture of the electrical activity. It's a node, it's the node bundle of this, the left and right bundle. When the impulse come to put yttrium, they contract making B wave. We separate this. The first part of the wave made by right yttrium and the second part made by left yttrium. When it comes to this way to A B node, this uh, BR signal is the conduction come from AV node to the bundles so when the electricity passes through the ventricle they contract making QRS complex it is the ventricular uh, depolarization or ventricular contraction then SP segment and T wave T wave refer to ventricular Repolarization or ventricular relaxation. If we know the this is the action potential of the cardiac muscle, you can know this part is the ventricular depolarization made by QRS and this is a plateau bar SP segment and this is a repolarization T wave we have to study every wave separately we will start with B wave B wave refer to atrial contraction when the impulse come to the post atrium they contract Together, making B wave. The first part of B wave consists of the right atrium and second part consists of the left atrium. Every wave has its own duration and amplitude. Any abnormality leads to this. So B wave duration less than three small and amplitude about uh, less than or equal to less than or equal two and a half small cubics okay the B wave positive in all leads except AVR why AVR? generally AVR show all wave Inverted because here is AVR and they know the wave come from this way and this opposite direction. So all waves come from AVR are inverted because the opposite direction of the main electrical current. So the B wave both in all these except AVR as maybe bipolar in V1 you can see it like this 
this is a big wake. We will take now QRS complex with refer to ventricular contraction or ventricular depolarization consist of a QRS. QRS. Its duration should be two and a half small clicks. And its amplitude should be in lead one plus lead two plus lead three. More than three large cubics or fifteen small cubes. So QRS. Q wave could be found at the measurement of one by one millimeter small cubics could be found in any lead except V1, 2, 3 there is a deep Q wave could be found in lead 3 could be found also in AVR could be found in V1 but if found in this place separately it relieves with respiration so I'm talking about the pathological Q wave. Pathological Q wave it is more than one by one millimeter, but uh, in uh, two successive leads of the same wall. If we imagine this is an inferior wall, two, three, ABF, if we found pathological Q in two and three, this is inferior problem. This is the Q wave. QRS complex. QRS complex. So why I call this Q and this R this S? Q wave is the first negative wave called Q. R is the first positive wave. S is the first negative after R. There are three types of these waves. There is biphasic, one monophasic and triphasic. So if we see this, this monophasic is Q. We call it QS biphasic we call it RS or QR triphasic QRS or okay this is a special type called R is R dash. So it may be monophasic or biphasic or triphasic. Monophasic QS, biphasic R is or QR, triphasic QRS or R is R dash. This is Q wave. So, we'll take now R wave. R wave that we look at in the chest leads. It is start as a small wave. In V1 and try to enlarge, enlarge to V0 and try to enlarge. This is the position 
of the uh, wait long chest leg where you can see this bike failing in v3 or v4 and peak at maximum in v5 why not v6 because if we this is the chest and this is the heart and this is v1 2 3 4 5 6 and if this is the lung you can see that uh, v6 cover part larger area of the lung than v5 less so the maximum are you can find in v5 not v6 so v3 is transition zone and v5 is the maximum place you can find it so some of this is called bore progression of this are weight T wave refer to ventricular liberalization or ventricular relaxation. T wave could be positive and only, but in AVR should be inverted T wave. In V1 may be inverted. It's okay. Any abnormality in ST segment how can you take abnormality you come after the junction point or j point with one millimeter and you can see if it levated or depressed st segment as you know the st segment is very important to detect the ischemia and infarction so, there's something called U wave, it's come after T wave. T wave made by papillary liberalization that is not found in all people. Okay. So, T wave, it's AVEX. Should be after the middle. If we put the line, it's AVX of T wave should be after the middle. If T wave high, we have a, a limit of T wave, two large cubic in chest leads and just only one large cubic in limb leads. 